Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, we're continuing on in the book of Proverbs. And today's theme is something that kind of permeates all the book of Proverbs. Proverbs talks a lot about foolish people. The fool does this, the fool does that. And if the if Proverbs says there's lots of fools out there, we should be aware that we're gonna run into them. And sometimes we might even look in the mirror and see someone who looks a bit like a fool if we're acting foolish at certain times. But because there's lots of people out there doing foolish things, that can impact us. So listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 12, verse 16. And it talks about how people respond when they encounter a, someone else who's foolish or is behaving in a foolish manner. Here's what it says. Fools show their annoyance at once, but the prudent overlook an insult. That's the whole passage today. If you're a fool and somebody annoys you, somebody's doing something foolish and they're acting foolish and you're a foolish person, you're gonna get annoyed, you're gonna get ticked off, you're gonna get angry and you're gonna let them know. You got a short fuse and it comes out. But if you're prudent, if you're wise, if you're a discerning person, you can actually overlook an insult. This isn't saying when somebody does something really offensive and wrong, you should always ignore it. But it is saying there's a lot of times where all you do when you respond to somebody else's annoying and foolish behavior, all you do if you respond back in like kind is you prove that not only are they a fool, but you are too. And I've learned this in my own life. I've had moments where, uh, and, and I make my living talking or writing words, that's a part, a lot of what I do, so words come out of my mouth pretty quickly and um, sometimes colorfully and sometimes not all that wisely. And so I've had times in my life where something happens and I just respond and the words come out. And sometimes I look back and I say, I did a good job there. And a lot of times I look back and say, I could have done a lot better with my words. But I don't want to be a fool. So I'm trying to learn to not let my annoyance be known at once. Maybe my annoyance could be made known later, but more thoughtfully. Or maybe not at all. Because a wise person, there's times where they ignore an insult. So just a couple lessons from God's word. Immediate anger and frustration when somebody bugs you is almost always an indication that we're acting foolishly. If your knee-jerk response is to let people know what's on your mind, if they bug you, if your mouth just reacts and starts talking before you even stop and think about it, there's a good chance that the way someone else is acting foolishly in an annoying manner is triggering something in you that shows that you also are a fool. So second lesson, learn to ignore an insult. Maybe delay, and thoughtfully interact with that person, or maybe at times just go, you know what? That's not even worth, that's not, that doesn't even dignify a response. All I'm gonna be doing is joining into the folly of another person. So watch your response patterns. And, and just a word for those of you that are, that you have a hair trigger anger reflex. Something happens and you, your mouth starts talking and you start responding and the heat runs up your neck and you wanna even get physical with somebody. Stop and say, is that the heart of Jesus? Is that the way of wisdom? Because the anger of a fool is known at once, but a wise person ignores an insult. God, this is our prayer today, that we would walk the path of wisdom. We are, gonna, we are all gonna bump into somebody today or tomorrow who's behaving in a foolish manner. And we pray that we would not prove to them that we are just as foolish by reacting back, but that we would stop and reflect and pray. And when need be, God, we would give a wise, and thoughtful response, and when that's not even helpful at all, we would actually be able to just walk past the situation, ignore the insult, not let it ruin our day, but just move on with our life. Let us show that we're wise, not only by what we say, but by what we don't say. We pray this in Jesus' name, amen. Blessings on you, have a great day, and we'll see you back next time for our next Weekly Wisdom.